a small space. Uh, let's take uh, some random cards here. Uh, let's see. Well, we might as well take the, uh, the two nines here, okay? Let's take the two black nines. Uh, maybe you can do me a favor here. Now, there's two different ways to fold a card in half. I could fold a card in half along its length, mm -hmm. like this, or you can fold a card in half along its width, this way. Do me a favor. Fold this in half along its width and crease it. And I'll fold this one along its length, and I'll crease it here. Okay? Two different ways to do one thing. Now, there's two different ways to actually put a card inside of a card. I could put uh, a card inside like this, or I can put a card inside like this. I could turn cards inside out this way, or I could do it by magic. I think I'll try this one by magic. Watch the nine of spades. Okay, watch the nine of spades. All I have to do is push. And the nine of spades will turn itself over while it's trapped inside of the nine of club for its entire length. Now I'll do it again. All you have to do is push. And it turns itself back over for its entire <laughs> length while it's still inside of the nine of clubs. The interesting thing is I can actually isolate the very point of inversion right there. You see the card halfway <laughs> inside out, just like this. The amazing thing is I could actually trap the process right there in the center by tearing the cards in half. There'll be no question as you set it down, and you'll see half the cards in and half the cards out. And I can't even figure that out myself. Wow. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.